What is up everybody? Today is October 3rd, so that means time for a new video. Now, the topic of today's video happens to be on the language Irish or Gaelic. Not Gaelic, we'll get into that. But I figure that since these are all Halloween inspired for the month of Halloween, month of October, that I would check into the language spoken by the people who kind of like founded the holiday. So without further ado, see you on the flip side. <laughs> Welcome back. As I said, we're going to be checking into the Irish language or Gaelga, which is the Irish language word for the Irish language. Technically different than the Scottish Gaelic. So outside of Ireland, it's common to just kind of call it Gaelic or Irish Gaelic, but inside of Ireland themselves, they would not like that. So you would call it the Irish language or Gaelga. Um, there's Scottish Gaelic, they are two separate things. So Gaelic kind of refers to the Scottish language, Gaelga is the Irish language. Okay, so as we see here, um, this is where it does get a little complicated, right? So as I said, um, Gaelic doesn't necessarily refer to the Irish language. Gaelic is an adjective that describes the people and culture of Ireland. So the Irish language is sometimes referred to as Gaelga, pronounced Gwalga. Turns out I'm not even doing that right. Gwalga. We learned something today, boys and girls. And boys and girls. Gwalga. But it is not Gaelic. Gwalga is the name of the Irish language in Irish. Like it's Gaelic cousin. Both are Indo-European languages, but Irish is actually a language unto its own. The term Gaelic as a as a language, though I suppose that that would be Gaelic, wasn't it? Wouldn't it? Gaelic sounds like a Bostonian like trying to ask if 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 you want any like seasoning for your pasta. You want any Gaelic? Incredible. So the term Gaelic as a language applies only to the language of Scotland. If you're not in Ireland, it is permissible to refer to the language as Irish Gaelic to differentiate it from Scottish Gaelic. But when you're in the Emerald Isle, Ireland, you should definitely just refer to it as Irish or as Gwalga. It looks like there are like mainly three different dialects that are spoken. The Ulster dialect, which is spoken in the northwest corner of the country around the area of Donegal. The Connacht dialect, spoken in the west of the country. The two most prominent areas are Connemara and I would say Mayo, like what you put on your sandwich. I'm gonna guess like Mayo, but Mayo. Or the Munster dialect, spoken in the southwest of Ireland. Now, what I'm gonna be using initially to actually study the language, I believe uses the Munster dialect. I like this for two reasons. One, back when I used to eat cheese, Munster was my favorite kind of cheese. And two, I feel like the southwest area is, is where like like most things happen, if, if I remember correctly. Like, I, I believe so, the southwest area. Gualtocks. There are three predominantly Irish speaking areas within Ireland called Gualtocks. It is apparently an endangered language, as under UNESCO, the language qualifies as being definitely endangered because it is being used as a primary language by 44,000 or fewer people in the country and children are no longer learning it as its primary language at, in the home. In spite of the lack of support within the EU and in Ireland, the Irish language is seeing resurgence in learning in the digital age. The mobile language learning application Duolingo was recently heralded by the Irish president, Michael Higgins, as an act of both national and global citizenship. Normally, I don't use Duolingo for any of my own language learning, but I think that this could be a nice way to bring in more vocabulary as what I'll initially be using as, as I get into it. I like to use Pimsleur just for anything. It was relatively cheap on the website, so no worries there. But the issue with that is it only comes with like 10 lessons, or I don't even, I think it might just come with five lessons. And I'm used to with those, with Pimsleur, them having um, like 30 lessons per unit. 
and then having like three to five different units. So with this only having five lessons, this is going to be a very, a very interesting month, very trying month of me attempting to learn this language. But no, I plan on coming back with recaps every so often throughout this month, kind of rechecking up with how the language is going, and hopefully, hold me to it, by the end of this month, I am going to try to find somebody who speaks Guaga, and I'm going to try to have a conversation with them. So that is the end goal of the end of this month, is hold a conversation in Guaga. We'll see how I do. Let's learn a few things. So, of course, the first thing that I see on here to learn is there is only a little blood. Nilak brain bugfullert. There is only a little blood. Nilok brain bugfullert. How crazy that that's the first thing I learned how to say. You will be better soon. Beg beshak urt kalua. I will put on a plaster now. Why are all of these about being injured? This is gonna be a pain in the butt. See, the first thing I'm gonna have to learn, I need to learn how to pronounce all of the letters in their alphabet, and then I need to know what like, like, so yeah, first work on phonetics, how the letters sound. So that way when I'm reading, it's fine. And then I think that I'm going to try to find something that I can read or like listen to, like maybe there's like radio or something that I can just listen to, to kind of like get used to just how it sounds. Cause I don't think many of us really even know how it sounds. I'm actually kind of excited about this. Like prior to this, I was like, how am I even gonna do this? But this is like that new language feel that I'm sure a lot of people who study a lot of languages, have studied a lot of languages, can attest to that kind of feeling of when you first get started in a new language. I wouldn't necessarily call myself a polyglot in that I can really only communicate in English and Chinese, although my friend Caro might might disagree that I can communicate in Chinese. I can definitely get by in Chinese. Okay, I think I'm gonna call it there. I am gonna post different updates kind of as I go, learning different things. As uh, the month progresses, I'll come back with new updates. And again, by the end of this month, I wanna be able to hold a conversation. So I think I'm gonna say like, like a good four weeks. Good four weeks, I'm gonna put in a lot of time every week. I'm gonna hold myself to that. Please also hold me to that. Make sure to give a comment, like, subscribe, hit that little notification bell if you would. Using one of the few things that we have learned, Kalasov, sleep well, and have a good night.